The recently passed Inflation Reduction Act includes $739 billion in spending. But how much of that can the average family expect to get? And what do they have to do to get it? CBS 8's Evan Narani breaks down how going green could be even more affordable thanks to the new bill. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. After passing in Congress and being signed into law last week by President Biden, the Inflation Reduction Act is now the most ambitious climate spending bill in U.S. history, devoting over $300 billion into energy and climate reform. We've got wildfires burning in California, we've got floods, we've got hurricanes, a 300, over $300 billion investment. And what we must do as America to lead on this issue, and the crisis is evident, it is front and center every night on the evening news. But what kinds of incentives, whether they be tax credits or rebates, can actually be passed on to us, the consumers? For starters, lower energy prices across the board should be a byproduct of the bill without you doing anything differently. But if you're starting to make changes in your home, you can start with $14,000 in money back for switching to electric appliances over gas or upgrading existing appliances. The already hot electric vehicle market could get hotter with $7,500 in tax credits for purchasing a new electric vehicle. You can also get up to $4,000 for buying it used. We have never invested this much money in addressing climate change by addressing clean energy. We are a, a leader now in the world. Now, of course, there are many stipulations like income requirements or types of products that qualify for these benefits. Many of the rebates are also geared toward low-income communities where, in some cases, 100 percent of that transition toward electric appliances could be covered by rebates. For installing solar panels, that drops down to about 30 percent that residents can deduct from their taxes. This bill will kickstart the era of affordable clean energy in America. It's a game changer. It's a turning point, And it's been a long time in coming. All of these changes come with the goal of diversifying the power grid, eventually depending more on clean energy and net zero emissions. Evan Arani, CBS 8.